Salutations, crustaceans. I'm Lobster, and today we have an unboxing. Let's do this. In this box is a bass from Donner Guitars. This is a bass that I purchased off of Amazon, and the whole package together, I believe, was $140. With a $10 off coupon as well, which brought it down to $130 plus taxes. So out the door, after taxes, this was under $140 for me. And that's pretty cool. But is it going to be worth it? Let's find out. You guys know what you need to do. Go ahead and hit that like button so my hand will turn back to normal. Thanks. Oh, look at that. Ugh. So I hit the tripod. We got ourselves a nice little case here. They're not bad for a $140 instrument. So this is it, the Donner P-Bass. And here's the back. First impressions, the neck feels exactly like a Glary. The headstock is very similar as well. So I would not be surprised if these were made in the same factory, but this is a very, uh, uh, a fatter neck, if you will. Not uncomfortable though, and the neck, though not the smoothest neck in the world, is not rough by any means. Definitely feels better than what I would expect from a regular $140 instrument. The finish definitely feels better than a Glary, just the dimensions feel very Glary-like. The fretwork is very nice, there's no pokey frets on either side. The nut is also filed appropriately where it's not sticking out on either side of the neck. The tuning machines feel like what you'd expect from an instrument at this price, so no surprise there. The bridge is also using a non-standard screw pattern, so it's one screw in each corner versus the standard five screws in a row like you get in most Fender-esque bases, and that's how most replacement bridges are set up. So you will have to drill some new holes if you want to install an aftermarket bridge on this base. Now let's go ahead and plug her in and see what this thing sounds like. Balance-wise, this does feel a bit neck-heavy as the body is of a lightweight material. Hi, BB. Yes, you're a lightweight material. <laughs> so this does neck dive a little bit and you feel it. However, not the worst thing in the world for an instrument that costs $140. The tuners, though far from the best, are accurate enough to get you in tune. The bridge does its job and this pickup does not sound half bad either. So, as a beginner bass, this is definitely a solid package. I also like that it comes with a really nice gig bag on top of that, though I didn't look inside for any additional contents, ouch. Like a cable. <laughs>
<laughs> oh man. Yeah, this thing isn't this thing isn't bad by any means, but how does it slap? <laughs> Not bad, not bad at all. And not bad for $140 either. One other thing I have to note is the setup out of the box is actually really nice as well. I didn't have to do any adjustments on the neck or the bridge. I just tuned it up and it plays great. So that is very much appreciated. Good job, Donner. I'm gonna be restringing this with some MJC Ironworks nickel plated stainless steel. 45 to 105 strings, and uh, we'll be giving this a full review. Who knows, we might even swap the pickup on this one as well. We'll see. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Be sure to like, subscribe, join our Discord, and leave a comment down below, and let me know what you think about my new Donner P Bass. And we will be doing a full review on this soon, so don't you worry. And as always, until we groove again.